Hi everyone, this is Professor Mayunga and you are watching Uda Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello guys, today I'm going to show a different example of finite element analysis using ANSYS mechanical APDL. This is actually thermal analysis of a composite wall. Let us see the statement of the problem. A composite wall consists of three materials as shown. The outer temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. Convection heat transfer takes place on the inner surface of the wall with T infinity equal to 800 degrees centigrade and convective heat transfer coefficient H equal to 20 watt per meter square degree centigrade. Determine the temperature distribution in the wall where provided K1 thermal conductivity of the material 1 is 20 watt per meter degree centigrade. K2 is the thermal conductivity of the second wall equal to 30 watt per meter degree centigrade and K3 the thermal conductivity of the third material is 50 watt per meter degree centigrade and convective heat transfer coefficient is already provided as 20 watt per meter square degree centigrade at a temperature of 800 degree centigrade so this is the statement of the problem this problem is little bit different compared to the previous one in previous case we considered contact resistance here contact resistance is not there now while modeling this question we need to see that it will be having three times conduction and one type convection so four different types of material properties will be provided and two different types of elements will be there one element will be there for convection and one element will be there for conduction okay so without wasting time let us start our analysis using ANSYS mechanical APDL and you can see the total length of that wall is actually 0.6 meter but in this case while considering the convection effect at the left hand side we need to consider one thin film of thickness 0 0.001 meter right so that extra element we are considering for convection so instead of three elements it will be four elements and five nodes will be there right so without wasting time let us start our analysis first of all we need to create a directory and in that directory we need to save everything next to that you need to change the title of this one and that title can be changed from here change title and we're keeping the name of this title as fa10 okay and to see the title we can click on plot replot it will show the title at the lower left corner right okay and first of all we need to start from preferences and it will show what type of analysis it is it is definitely a thermal analysis so thermal analysis checked in okay now we need to define elements what type of elements are there i told already at the beginning two different types of elements will be there one for convection and one for conduction so element type add edit delete let us add it and we need to consider a link two different types of elements will be there as i told at the beginning it will be having convection so we are considering link 34 for convection apply and second one we are considering link 33 for conduction okay two different elements we have considered let us close it next to that real constants that means we need to provide cross-sectional areas for two different elements right add edit delete add for link 34 that is for convection let us provide cross-sectional area equal to one meter square okay let us add for the second one for link 33 for conduction and in this case real constant number is 2 and previous case real constant number was 1 so for real constant number 2 we are providing cross section is equal to 1 meter square okay done close it so we have defined two different types of elements of link 33 and link 34 link 34 is for convection and link 33 for conduction next to that four different types of materials to be provided for material properties because one for convection and three for conduction with different conductivities right so material properties material models thermal first of all we are considering convection or convective heat transfer coefficient and convective heat transfer coefficient is 25 watt per meter square degree centigrade so it is 25 okay next to that we need to provide different material and it will come from here new model material id number two and we are considering thermal conductivity for isotopic material as 20 watt per meter degree centigrade okay for the next material material id number three and let us provide thermal conductivity to be 30 watt per meter degree centigrade okay done for the last material material id is four and in this case we are providing thermal conductivity as 50 watt per meter degree centigrade okay done let us close it 
next to that we need to start modeling and i already told before that in this case we need to consider four different elements and five different nodes because for convection we are considering a thin film of thickness 0.001 meter so we need to create five different nodes with four different elements okay so create nodes in active coordinate system you are creating first node at the origin so apply second node will be created at a distance of 0.001 meter that is for convection a thin film of air it is 0.001 meter apply next node will be that is the third node will be created at a distance of 0.301 meter apply and next one it will be again 150 millimeter away that will be 0.451 meter apply and the last node it will be from the origin at a distance of this extra element for the convection plus 0.6 meter so it will be 0.601 meter okay we have created five different nodes and four different elements element number one and two is very close to each other so it cannot be viewed properly that can be zoomed to see in a better way right next to that we need to create elements and before creating elements we need to see the elemental attributes because for the first case we need to consider convection so it will be link 34 material number one and real constant number also one okay now let us join node number one and two for zooming we can start from plot controls zoom and we can start with box zoom to select the two specific nodes very close to each other you can see node one and node two is very close to each other we can select it auto numbered through nodes select node one and node two okay first element is made next one again we need to check the elemental attributes it is link 33 because in this case it will be having conduction material number will be 2 and real constant set number will be also 2 in next all cases it will be the same configuration so okay and we need to join node number 2 and 3 so auto numbered through nodes let us select node number 2 then we need to select node number 3 select node number 3 okay the second element is also made now the third element again we need to see the elemental attributes it will be same as previous case but only material number will be changed right material number will be 3 in this case okay now from auto numbered through nodes we can select node 3 and node 4 okay done again we need to see the elemental attributes and everything will be even same only the material number will be changed instead of material 3 it will be material 4 okay now auto numbered through nodes you can select node number 4 and node number 5 selected okay done so this is the elements we can see the elements from here plot elements it will show the total elements right next to that we need to apply our boundary conditions and it will be done from loading first of all we need to see what type of analysis it is it is a new analysis and we are considering steady state analysis and now we need to apply our loads first one it will be convection at node number one so apply thermal it will be temperature and at nodes while initiating convection the temperature of this one was 800 degrees centigrade so select node number one okay and temperature in this case it will be 800 degrees centigrade okay done and temperature at right hand side at node number five it will be 20 degrees centigrade so define loads apply thermal temperature on nodes let us select node number five okay and in this case temperature will be 20 degrees centigrade done so all the loads are applied next to that we need to solve it for solving you can start with solution and solve current ls if everything is right it will show solution is done it's showing solution is done so you can see your results from general post processing general post processing plot results can do plot nodal solution dwf solution nodal temperature you can see it is showing temperature at different nodes are different 
and in between at a different interfaces we are having different temperatures right from this one it is not clearly understood the temperature of the interface so for understanding this one in a better way we can see list results at a specific nodes right so list results nodal solution dual solution nodal temperature okay you can see temperature at a different nodes the left hand side temperature is 800 degrees centigrade where from convection started and in the second case at node number two where actually connection initiated in this case temperature is 304.76 degrees centigrade at node 3 it is 119.05 degrees centigrade at node 4 it is 57.143 degrees centigrade and finally at node 5 it is 20 degrees centigrade and here in this case you can see maximum absolute temperature is 800 degrees centigrade right we will validate this answer with manual calculations also right so we can remember this one and we can save it at a specific location let us save it in the desktop next to that we can see the animation of this analysis also for viewing that one let us convert this one to 3d first plot controls style size and shift and display of element can make it on okay now this is the model you can see it in a better way from oblique view so this is the model left hand side is having temperature of 800 degrees centigrade from which place convection will be initiated then we are having different materials with different thermal conductivities and right hand side we are having temperature of 20 degrees centigrade so let us see the animation of this one how it will be transferred from left hand side to right hand side that can be viewed from here plot controls animate and we can see deform results with a default setup let us check it and we can see the forward motion only that means the temperature distribution at the left hand side is very high but right hand side is not that much that is indicated by blue color that was clearly visible in our nodal list also because temperature difference at the right hand side is not that much but left hand side is very high right let us close this one now next to that we need to see our results using manual calculations of theoretical finite element analysis okay so let us close it so this was the problem problem is composite wall consisting of three materials different thermal conductivities k1 k2 k3 and left hand side we are having convection also with a temperature of 800 degrees centigrade and convective heat transfer coefficient is 25 watt per meter square degree centigrade we need to determine the temperature distribution in the wall right so first of all we need to make a finite element model of this one now i told already in our ANSYS mechanical epidural we converted this one into four different elements with five different nodes but in this case I will consider only three different elements right let us see that next slide so we're considering three different elements element one two three with four numbers of nodes and at the nodal point temperature is t1 t2 t3 and t4 and you can see the distance between them also the first element is having length of 0.3 meter second element 0.15 meter and third element is 0.15 meter again and in this case we avoided the thin film of convection which was actually 0.01 meter that one we avoided directly by using connection and convection at node 1 right okay let us see the next slide what we did is in this case for different elements we got three different elements element 1 2 3 and we found the uh, stiffness matrix k1 k2 and k3 as i told that for element 1 we got both conduction and convection so we combined the equation of conduction and convection and we got the elemental stiffness matrix k1 as this one right this is elemental stiffness matrix for k1 right okay exactly same way for element number two we are having only conduction so we got k2 elemental stiffness matrix as this one and in this case you can see these numbers 2c 3c these are very important these are actually known as global degrees of freedom right and these things are actually uh, for locating the position of this thing while adding the different elements it will be required because finally when we have to combine all these different elements elemental stiffness matrix k1 k2 k3 etc into a big global stiffness matrix in that case this global position is equal that's why these numbers are very important these are known as global degrees of freedom or gdof right now next one we need to find out the elemental stiffness matrix for the third one let us see that one this is the elemental stiffness matrix for the third one by applying all the data provided a k and l a is cross-sectional area k is thermal connectivity and l is length we got the different elemental stiffness matrix right 
next to that we need to find out the big global stiffness matrix by adding all these things while adding all these numbers we need to consider the global positioning of this one with global degrees of freedom and add it we get the big matrix known as global stiffness matrix after having this global stiffness matrix we need to find out equation kt equal to f right this is the most important equation right okay now what we have to do is we have to apply all this data like f1 t1 etc whatever is available next to that this 4 by 4 matrix can be reduced to 3 by 3 by reducing some unwanted things by applying different boundary conditions and finally we got three set of equations right here itself and solving these three set of equations we got temperature t1 at node number one is 304.76 and at second node it is 119.05 degrees centigrade third node it is 57.14 degrees centigrade and at the last node it is 20 degrees centigrade and let us see what we got in our previous cases that is using ANSYS let us see that one also you can see the result here at node number 1 it is 800 degrees centigrade because in this case we followed one extra layer of thin film considering convection and our most important temperatures are actually node 2 3 and 4 and here in this case you can see temperature at node 2 is 304.76 it is exactly same compared to that theoretical results and at node number 3 it is 119.05 at node 4 it is 57.143 so the temperatures what we got from ANSYS mechanical epidural and that from obtained from theoretical finite element analysis are exactly same right which is validating our results in a perfect way okay so with this one we will conclude our today's analysis it was a very simple thermal analysis of a wall and in this analysis we considered both convection and conduction right thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye